All right, hey guys, Greg again. Uh, sorry it's been a while. Again, trying to figure out what to do. Nothing really to talk about usually. Um, but today I went out shopping. Really didn't have much else to do. Picked up a few things. Uh, first, I went to my local used video game store, a place called Play and Trade. They have excellent games, and I picked up this Blood Bowl. I heard a lot of good things about it. This is just the instruction manual. I have it playing on my computer, on my Xbox. I'm trying to figure out how to play it. So, um, yeah. If anyone wants to play with me, you know my uh, Xbox Live gamer tag from my second video. Raxus 505. I like it so far. Still trying to get used to it. Um, I also went to my local Walmart and in trying to find a R.I.D. Viacon, I noticed two things at my local Walmart. They have the newest wave out. And one... They had one arachnid. In the entire store, they had one. This is R.I.D. arachnid. From the Prime line. They also had a... Uh, they also had a retool of Wheeljack done up as Dead End. I just think the colors were a little freaky. It's really, really strange. It's like all neon. It was like neon yellow, green, and red. It was like, what the hell? That's not standard Dead End color. But yeah, she is her stealth helicopter. It, it kind of looks a little weird because of how the rotors are set up, but that goes into later. And she also comes with two uh, cyber web spinners. Looks pretty cool. So, I'm going to do this on camera, hopefully. In order to transform her, you got to pull off the weapons. Set them off to the side. It also tells you to separate the rotor. Then what you do is you pop open the canopy, the little seat in there, flip the nose cone in, close. Then pull open the side panels, side panel, and slide them down. Very tight joints. Like that. You can rotate it forward and spin the hand. And you can rotate the the forearm panel forward and flip out the hands. Hands ha are just splayed open like that with a hole in the center, much like um, Soundwave. It's not really meant to hold anything. It's just me meant to put something in the hole in the hand. Then you go back here to the back. Take this. Take this upper tail section, pull that straight up, and what I do now is then I, I split it and turn them, I turn them away from each other, and all I do is, and here's the head reveal, take this entire top section, she's kind of a shell former, but take the whole top section, slide it straight up, and you got her, and you got her head. Then the last thing you do is you just not the last thing. Just split apart her legs. I'll set her off to the side for now. She's very, even though she's a shell former, she's very top heavy. I'm not sure how to fix that. Now she has her entire, almost her entire helicopter mode on her back. Then what you do is you have the the rotors. Take this one. This one in the center, you flip it down. So you have something like this. Then you bend that one forward, take the other two, and they clip in right underneath. You pop them up, turn them over, and you bend them forward. Actually, you bend it this way. This one bends in both directions, but you have to have it like this. 
So they're all pretty much angled in the same fashion. Then you take her, and where they were plugged in before, you plug them right back in. And on the top of her canopy, the right there, it's hard to see. Uh, there you go. That little post, there's a little slot in the center thing right there. Just slide that clear purple slot post. Doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits so that you can hold the, so it can hold in and it won't be like completely weird. And then if you want here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slide her hand back in to give her her crazy web spinning gimmick. And fell down. It's hard for it to stay where it is. It doesn't, and the whole head reveal thing doesn't clip in, it just sits. I'm gonna fold her hand in, plug her cyber web shooter, and once more, just plug in the head, the, uh, the rotors, because they will not stay on their own. So, what I do with mine is I'm just gonna, what I do with her is I'm just going to set her on, on my shelf area. Well, it's not really my shelf, it's more of my, uh, my bureau, my clothes drawer, everything. I'm gonna sit her with all the other Decepticons from the Prime line, so she'll just stand there. I won't do much with her after this. Unless, of course, Repro Labels puts out a sticker set for her and Knockout. I want that to happen, Repro Labels. If you're watching this, do it. But, yeah, here she is. In all of her crazy web shooting glory. Uh, her elbows are a little weird. It's a double hinged elbow. Not really a true elbow. It's got a top elbow and a bottom elbow. So it's like you can angle it at one or angle it at the other but it's really hindered by the the peg in holes I know it's black but it's, and it's impossible to see Let's see if I can use my phone to do it um, yeah hard to see but that little post hole the the panels for the arms don't really work together perfectly but I like her all in all I give her a solid, um, if I wanted to rank her uh, compared to the other nine prime figures I have, my Starscream is number one, followed closely by Megatron, then Wheeljack, Bumblebee, RC, Hotshot, Soundwave, and, um, Ratchet, I don't really care for the Ratchet, but I like him because he's in the in the game, in the uh, the in the show. But with this, uh, she's at bottom of the list. She's not the greatest. She is a full-on shell former. This is the tail section to the to the her legs and these back spider legs are the tail section is the entire tail section of the of the helicopter. What I would like to see is a Voyager class figure, a void of a yeah. A, Voyager figure for her triple changer make her triple change I want the stealth helicopter the robot mode and the spider legs mode I love that thing that thing is awesome if you haven't seen it um, the episode where she shows up in the first season where she first where they first see her she's got that weird spider leg mode absolutely love it now, it's not a true alt mode but I like it so, anyways, I'm approaching the end of my time limit here. Um, hopefully soon I'll be picking up that dead end, and I'll have a review on that soon. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, until next time, though, guys, stay frosty.